These are the steps for bandaging head injuries. For any superficial trauma, to the scope, use a clean bandage and apply direct pressure. For a suspect fractured skull, cover the wound with a clean bandage without applying pressure. First, wrap around the bandage starting at the top of the skull or head and then around the forehead to the back of the head. Then tie the bandage and insert the loose ends inside. These are the steps for warping wrist injuries. Initially, warp the bandage around your wrist once, starting at the pinky side or palm of your hand and with your hand facing up. Pull the bandage to your top side and warp around your palm once. Cross the bandage back down to your wrist and warp again around the wrist. These are the steps for bandaging sprain injuries. First, you should apply a compression bandage as soon as a sprain occurs. Warp around your shin to your ankle and feet with a cloth or elastic or an ACE bandage and leave it on for 48 to 72 hours. Warp the bandage snugly but not too tightly. Warping an ankle too tightly can restrict circulation to the injury, which will interfere with healing and may cause tissue damage in your foot. Warping the ankle too loosely will allow too much movement and keep the ligaments from getting the support they need to recover. After warping the bandage around your shin, onto your ankle and feet, put a double tape at the end of the, of the bandage so it could stay warped. To make an elevation sling, first of all you need to put the victim's fingertips touching your shoulder, then ask her to support your injured arm. Can you? After that, lay your triangular bandage over the injured arm, underneath, around the back, and tie it using a wrist knot. Then, tap the points under. And the bits that left over, just twist it until it's nice and tight. And tuck it in the corner. It should fit smugly in the elbow. To check the circulation, you need to squeeze the fingernails for 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when you let go, the collar should return within 2 seconds. And if it doesn't, it means the sling is too tight and you need to loosen it up. If a baby was drowning, for example, this is a baby, first thing to do is to open her airway by putting her chin up to fix the flow of the air. And then, the first step is to do puff. You have to give her a pipe. Mouth pump. Then, give her a dirty chest pump. Giving her a dirty chest pump will be equivalent to 100 to 120 heart pumps. So that the circulatory will be restored. And after that, if everything came normal, please go to the nearest hospitals and always seek for help.